Good day, collective. This is a general spiritual warfare message for my Pisces collective. Whether Pisces is your sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, or North Node. Remember to only take what resonates. Libra does not. Personal readings are available. The link is in the description box, okay? Don't forget, I do have a members-only community, $4.99 monthly to join for additional content. Hello to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my day one. Spiritual warfare messages from my Pisces collective. What do they most need to know right now for their highest and greatest good? You have lover. This could be a present mate of yours this could be an ex this could also be someone you rejected or the same type of situation but of your person use your discernment you have holes energy this lover energy is a narcissist collective okay you know this person has mental health issues and it, it appears that um it affects their relationships with their own friends, family, children, and etc. But you have family in reverse. This is not somebody you saw yourself as having a family with. You really saw this person as being an obstacle in your life. Like this person manifested out of nowhere. What does my Pisces collective need to know about this lover energy when it comes to spiritual warfare for their highest and greatest good? Yeah, you have the journey card. So maybe this person has been talking to you about traveling plans, getting married, long-term commitment type of things. That person just wants to stay courted to you because they have mental health problems, okay? I feel like your discernment has been telling you something has been weary about this person and their relationships. What's the host energy? Yeah, you got thief. Exactly. That's what holes are. A, a harvesting energy tactic. So Pisces Collective, you obviously have someone that um, maybe you rejected them. You thought they were their, your twin flame or vice versa. But this person, this narcissistic person has still been trying to harvest your energy. What does the collective need to know about this relationship? If your friendships have been being impacted or relationships with family members, feminine family members have been impacted. Yeah, that was the point. This community energy, I feel like it's people that know this, this person and they know that mental health problems is abroad and prominent. And what's the mental health energy? What does the Pisces Collective need to know about this mental health energy? You have wealthy man. So this attack very well could be coming from a masculine energy Pisces Collective. You have message of concern and then main male. So you could have rejected this person or this could be an ex of yours. Somebody you could have been expecting communication from at some point in time. Maybe they took a trip. I don't know, but whatever their work is, it is lucrative work, but they're about to be experiencing mental health problems. Anybody that's connected to them through relationships, whether it's church, work, organizations, um, community type of settings, everybody is about to find out how long this person has been a narcissist and amongst some other things as well. Yeah, it's karma. This could be your soulmate collective or either something happened in the past involving a legal situation with this person. Yeah, with the police, with the chariot energy. What does the Pisces collective need to know? Spiritual warfare about this lover energy and journey. Lover energy and journey. I'm going to reshuffle that. Yeah, you got the Devil card and the Five of Swords. Pisces, collective, whoever this person is, if you are a twin flame or have a soulmate, this person has been doing rituals to go against, um, you know, you whatever you're wishing to happen with your actual soulmate that you haven't walked away from. 
What does the collective need to know about the lover journey energy? Yeah, the four of wands came out, but in reverse. This person is not your twin flame, whoever it is. Once again, I pick up that you rejected this person. Divine Feminine, you know this person, whoever it is, they want you to feel insecure. So you creatively make outlets. <laughs> no drama, no conflict. You know that they're just exaggerating some things. What's the four of wands in reverse? You have the eight of pentacles. This person wants to interfere with your work and your skills collective. You may have met this person while working. What's the eight of pentacles and the four of wands in reverse? This person has been trying to interfere with your work and stability and your ancestors have not been having it. So it's like this person has money, but they, they want you. But they want you because they're a narcissist. They, they're always used to getting what they want, when they want it, how they want it. What does the collective need to know about the Ten of Pentacles? Whoever it is is about to lose stability. They're, they're too stuck in the past and reminiscing about the past. Collective, you also need to make sure you are not reminiscing about the past, how this person delayed you or how long they have been harvesting your energy for rituals or doing spells on you, okay? Your ancestors want you to get out of that energy. That four of cups is that rejection energy. You're smart enough to know better now, Empress. And if you're a masculine and you found yourself, this message is resonating for you. Yeah, you were on a journey with a very narcissistic person putting in work with the Eight of Pentacles towards a situation that was not solid. Four of Wands in reverse. Your ancestors with the Ten of Pentacles, they want you to understand that maybe the feminine energy that cut you off because they you they came off as bored with you that feminine energy is in the four of pentacles working on saving their money for a goal of some sort somebody's wanting god to save somebody for them because they ended up having friendships and relationships impacting their mental health because they were in a money mindset it was a scarcity mindset not lack but scarcity but this person is has gotten wise advice from somebody it's not what they wanted to hear but they know that they're not on the right path could be dealing with an aquarius doesn't have to be okay spiritual warfare what's just holes and thief yeah you guys may also be coming to the realization high priestess you're coming to the realization of who what narcissism is how it affects people their relationships and their mental health it really isn't about the money thing some people have to make a decision release negative thoughts anxiety and paranoia and start listening to their own tuition they know that their relationships with everybody around them is about to be impacted in, in all kinds of ways blocked energy energy that was misused as well someone's not manifesting whoever stole your energy collective your intuition is on now regardless of who this lover energy is or who they are connected to it's karma but in the upright for you so this is a lesson for you about how to be fair balanced and honest with yourself truthful to yourself also, if you know a cycle hasn't wrapped up involving a legal situation, use your intuition. They tried to block it, but you have some good news regarding closing of that cycle coming up, okay? <clears throat> Somebody was trying to manipulate and be distorted. Use magic on a legal situation, Pisces Collective. It's not going to work out in their favor. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or that's you, Divine Masculine. What does the collective need to know about the High Priestess energy? Listen to your discernment. You're going to find out who's motivated and who's uninspired. Listen to your intuition. You're going to find out or you're going to see who's been stealing energy from other people. 
Pisces Collective, y'all about to find out it's going to be a lot of confrontation. People are going to experience a lot of difficulties when it comes to their physical health as well. Somebody had a long-term plan of stealing your energy, harvesting your energy. They've been doing it for a long time. They planned on doing it for a long time. Two of Pentacles in reverse, though. They can't. They're getting that message. What else does the Pisces Collective need to know? Spiritual warfare, relationships, and community. Someone was jealous of your relationship that you had with a Divine Feminine. Four swords in reverse. They did not want to put to rest um, the judgment that whoever this wise feminine energy that you all got bored in a situation with, they just don't want to put to rest still in this person's energy even though they're under judgment <clears throat> the choices that they're making are not successful they're energy vampires they're clout chasers and it's really for no reason so people are about to start leaving leaving relationships leaving friendships some people that are like older parents some of their children are about to stop stop dealing with them yeah, it's coming. Three of Wands. Somebody's son could be finding out they were, you know, part of um, having their energy harvested by people that he knew. And they've just been feeding off of him. He was wondering why, you know, relationships are getting rocky and unhealthy. And he's finding out he was under judgment, but it was due to him being narcissistic as well. It's a need for healing. This person is... Um, I don't feel like they're avoiding self-reflection, but the more they realize the community and relationships they have of people harvesting off of them, meaning they were taking on energies of other people as well, it's driving them crazy. Mental health and wealthy man. Hopefully that's not you, Collective. This could be your divine masculine, or this could be the person that did it to you, but either you or him, somebody doesn't want to walk away and emotionally detach. Eight of Cups in reverse. Mental health, wealthy man, eight of cups in reverse. <clears throat> Emperor in reverse. Could be dealing with a Aries or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. This masculine energy for a long time has been in a financially stable with the eight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. But foundation wise, this person is bored with these narcissists. Once again, this is either you, someone you're connected to, or y'all are just watching Tarot to get some insight about somebody that you have some money business dealings with. This masculine energy, he's not going to walk away from these relationships that are under judgment. But that's because he's already emotionally unstable. He's been manipulated at some point in time. And he has very unpleasant childhood memories or unpleasant memories in general. Clarify the emperor in reverse. This masculine that doesn't want to walk away even though they're under judgment. It's about to be a lot of mental health problems. This person is either going to end up in a legal situation. Or something could happen with their transportation or during traveling. What's the chariot energy? You got the king of swords. This masculine energy could actually be moving towards this uh, uh, feminine energy, though. The feminine energy that it was the four of cups, rejection. It wasn't what he wanted. This queen of swords, feminine energy, is not broken by this masculine. He stuck on her, though. Y'all be careful. If this is y'all masculine, y'all know he's a narcissist. He deals with narcissists. You need to be very careful and listen to your intuition at this time. And definitely take whatever you're building with him slow. You're trying to come up with a plan. This, Whoever this energy is to you, it's very unbalanced right now. This person can't give you equal give and take. The universe has a gift for you. But you're going to end up being immature and making a decision because of this karmic masculine. So I could be talking to a divine feminine. 
you were working on a situation with a masculine you feel like he's your twin flame you're realizing he's not your twin flame so you're focusing on your money right now spiritual warfare wise use your intuition for a long time this person has been having his energy stolen and harvested and so have you the people that y'all have relationships with they're not going to stop spiritually attacking you because they have mental health problems um generationally inherited to them it's not problems that can't be healed but they have to want to heal those problems if that makes sense but um a lot of y'all relationships are under judgment right now tower card right there but with will of fortune both in the upright so you have to make a decision right now devil card as i split the day collective y'all have to make a decision about these relationships are you going to heal or are you going to continue to feed toxicity okay personal spiritual warfare readings are available don't forget to like share and subscribe talk to you later bye